Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Both SRAM and Shimano provide us with cheaper drivetrains to be installed on a more budget-oriented bike. What's common between them is this, the use or reuse of the good old Shimano splined Freeha body that we've been using since the 80s. This allows us to reuse existing wheels, upgrade older bikes, but SRAM and Shimano have different approaches to this. SRAM is giving us a couple of options for drivetrains. One is the Eagle SX and the second one is the Eagle NX, both of these being 12-speed drivetrains that are cheap and they make it onto a lot of bikes today. Shimano's approach though is different. They introduced this, an 11-speed M5100 drivetrain that comes with a cassette, a derailleur and a shifter. I covered that entry-level crank set in a recent video, but today we're gonna be looking at this, the 11-speed 1051 cassette. With the previous generation, Shimano gave us this 11 to 46 tooth cassette available for XT and SLX, but their Dior was a 10 speed that didn't provide as much range. In this generation, Dior comes with a 1x12 drivetrain, but they also provide us with 1x11 and 2x11, and also a more entry level 1x10 and 2x10. More importantly for our discussion today, it's gonna be this, the 11 to 51 tooth cassette, because many of us will probably be interested in using this as an upgrade. I looked at the Dior 12 speed cassette in a previous video, but because these two are part of the new Dior generation, I thought I would look at the 11 speed M5100 right next to it. And as you saw on that flow chart, the 6100 is a 12 speed cassette, 1051 is the range, 5100 it's an 11 speed and you have two options with the 1151 tooth being the most popular they're both built with an aluminum spider but most importantly here on the 6100 the 10 to 51 you require the use of the micro spline that may or may not be available from your hub manufacturer and that's why both shimano and srom wanted to offer options for the good old splined Shimano Freehub. On top of that, 5100 requires the use of a regular 11 speed chain. That is not true for the 12 speed that requires that Hyperglide Plus. I actually have a video talk about chain rings and compatibility. You might want to check that out. And that chain ring compatibility comes down to the use of the Shimano proprietary 12 speed Hyperglide Plus chain something that the war 11 speed 5100 doesn't have a problem with this is compatible with any chain ring that you might have from 9 speed onwards so the 5100 can be a better and cheaper option for an upgrade and by the way this is made in japan just like all the 12 speed components of the current generation in the box these days you don't get a lot of literature you get a qr code sending you to their website and here's our 11 to 51 tooth cassette. Because of the 10 versus the 11 tooth smallest cog, this cassette has 510% gear range. The 5100 is at 465. I reviewed the Sunrace cassette, which was 12 speed that would connect to the same type of free hub body. That one is 465% as well. Otherwise, the biggest cog here, obviously, is the same size on both cassettes and not only identical in size, but also if you look here at the shift ramps between the two largest cogs, they look identical to me. Hard to tell if the cogs are different thickness or not. The extra gear range of the 6100 comes from the use of that 10 tooth cog that is only possible because of the new micro spline free hub. Here in the lock ring, you're gonna see the torque for installing this, 40 Newton meters, the usual. Then you're gonna see that this is the CX5100 made in Japan. On the back of the cassette, the aluminum spider and lots and lots and lots of rivets keeping this together. On the, the 6100, so the 12 speed, you're gonna have the identification of the cassette right there, M6100 Japan. For 5100, you're not gonna find any sort of identification of the cassette aside from the locking ring that you just saw. 
The 12 speed has the majority of the cogs connected to that aluminum spider with the last five cogs here being loose. 5100 uses a similar construction in which the last one, two, three, four, five, and six cogs are loose and you're gonna have a couple of spacers in between. You see them over there. Usually you would want the least amount of loose cogs on a cassette because they tend to bite on the Freeha body, especially the aluminum ones. However, this is not uncommon for the cheaper options from Shimano. The installation of the cassette is fairly simple. Use this tube as a guide, find the biggest spline here on the Freeha body, and then you remove this little tag and as you do that you can actually slide the cassette onto the freeha body you can do this with all the cogs as you see it here all the way to that last one which is here at the top of the tube and then you're going to use the steel lock ring to tighten everything up here the recommended torque is 40 newton meters Previous generation 11 speed cassettes with one or two aluminum cogs were in that 470 grams range. But the new Dior 1151 all steel comes up to 620 grams. So that's 150 grams heavier. That might not be the end of the world for a hardtail. However, you gotta keep that weight in mind. It's not just the weight of the bike, it's the inertia of the cassette while rotating. So that would be a downside of this kind of weight for a cassette. Another possible downside to a big range cassette like this is that it doesn't really work with the previous 11 speed derailleurs. These were able to swallow an 11 to 46 tooth cassette, no problem. However, 51 is quite a bit bigger and would require a new derailleur. And one last possible downside of the 5100 is that, as you see here in the specs, it doesn't really use what's called the Hyperglide Plus, something that was introduced with the Shimano 12 speed, and that is the ability of that proprietary chain to move smoother from the larger cogs to the smaller cogs. So no Hyperglide or Link Glide, the new technologies from Shimano, but what would be some of the advantages of using something like this? I would say, first of all, is price, availability, range, and the compatibility with the older wheel sets. No need for a special chain and overall a very tempting cassette for a possible upgrade with a new derailleur and M51 shifter that I'm gonna cover in part three of this mini series. So what do you guys think about the M5100 cassette? What about the M5100 11-speed drivetrain? Why not your 12-speed? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you found this useful. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Cheers, guys. Cheers.